happy to be a part of it and so happy for us to be here making history tonight. Well, it is an honor to be alongside you. One of, I, I called you a legend coming out of the broadcast, but, but certainly uh, one of the players was laid the foundation for this league and coming out of that Olympic break, you think Sue Bird is tired after a shot like that? Jonquel Jones up against Brianna Stewart, and that is the matchup that you want to see as Jones hits the fadeaway. Absolutely. When you talk about the big girls really running this league, those are two of the best in the world matched up tonight and really guarding each other. Sometimes coaches don't let their two best players guard each other as Jewel Lloyd knocks down her first jumper. Again, 3 nothing is your score. Seattle over Connecticut. Sue Bird hit the first shot of the <laughs> of the game here so far and on the transition it's Bonner who gets the two something they worked on on the break really trying to improve that there's that ball movement that you address Brianna Stewart gets her own miss for another bucket for Seattle the last time these two teams have met throughout the WNBA one time John Quill Jones not there um, another time uh, they did they didn't have their full squad Jewel Lloyd with four points, three for Sue Bird, and two for Brianna Stewart. On the break has Katie Lou and feeds Samuelson for the fast break points. Showcase to you here on Amazon Prime Video tonight. A lot of people have worked really hard at making this night really special, and again, an offensive rebound and put back. They're going to have to be patient as they look for more ways to score offensively to rely on their defense. Brianna Jones decides to take. Mercedes Russell off the bounce that time, and it's a three-point edge. Coming out of that commercial timeout, Seattle was on a 6-0 run in about the two-and-a-half-minute stretch. Connecticut has found some rhythm since. Talk about rhythm. I'm really excited about that. Again, another thing I wish we had, when you talk about having all these cameras surrounding these women with Hawkeye able to see their movement as Brianna, Brianna Stewart right on cue knocks down that three. Katie Lou Samuelson transition bucket, how fast she was going. Basketball speed on that play for Seattle. So I think Connecticut is really having a hard time of really trying to get that ball in the basket with their initial offense. Whereas you can see Seattle just really fluid. And, you know, shout out to, to Noel Quinn for reaching out to her, making her feel comfortable about it not being about basketball, just being about her and how she's feeling and how she's doing mentally. And it's great to see Katie Lou back out with her 3x three team to get to the Olympics. They qualified and she was not able to go to Tokyo because of testing positive for COVID. And a double digit advantage as Jones goes up to get it. When you talk about Stewie, I think she's just one of the greatest uh, players that in, in the world. And we saw that with her in the Olympics. But when she's here in the WNBA, recognizes that there's you know money on the line she wants to win it not just for herself but she talked about for some of the rookie players who you know will earn almost as much as they make and an eight point advantage in the final few seconds of this first quarter canada feeding jones on the post that double team coming over and seattle takes it away samuelson to magpagore for the transition bucket. Uh, Connecticut, I believe, plays Dallas next. Have an opportunity to see them and get a little bit of a preview of what they're going to be facing in their next game. Tisha Heideman with that lefty stroke. So 3D technology, and again, the measuring some of the physical attributes of these players will try to bring you some of those aspects of it. Russell turns and faces against Jones, and the reverse falls as she took it baseline. I like to see the big girl matchup with the face instead of it being in the NBA first. It's in the WNBA first. Shout out to the WNBA leading the way with innovation. And Brianna Jones spotting it up. Right now, Connecticut just missing too many chippies around the basket. Lloyd to Canada from the corner. And Jordan Canada could be so important, especially for Seattle. And making sure that she's pushing the ball the same way that Sue Bird does when she's out of the game. Jonquil Jones keeps it alive. And Sue Bird on the push. Oh, look at that. Oh. Lloyd with the finish. And one Seattle style. 
Well, thank you again for everything that you have contributed to the game and continue to contribute on nights like this as Jones gets the bucket with four now to shoot. Shot clock at two as Bonner let it fly off the one foot. Yeah, and, and Connecticut, again, really trying to struggle. They're struggling trying to figure out where their offense is going to come from. The spacing, not as good as they'd like. And Sue Bird is just boy. Half a million dollars worth of prize money is on the line here tonight. Backdoor look for Russell for the finger roll finish. Kurt Miller is the first to tell you that this Connecticut team, you go back to that overtime loss to Seattle, if you flip-flop that game, I think Connecticut is in first place in the WNBA. A lot of bodies flying around this second half, getting more physical. Uh, the players know exactly what's on the line. And Sue Bird's leading the way, getting buckets. With Noelle Quinn, a, a black woman, and the first black female to be a head coach on the Seattle side. One second for her Seattle team as Lloyd gets the rebound, her own miss. Lloyd again stays with it for the putback. Yes, and Noelle Quinn, who was my teammate, I'm um, just so excited to see her have the opportunity to, to get a contract, an extension, to be the head coach of the Seattle Storm. And um, also a shout out to Dawn Staley. Sometimes I always talk about it. it's about we're so prepared. Preparation and opportunity equals success. And we're thankful that we're getting these opportunities. Chippy's in close, just uh, still a little rusty from the break. Stewart with the pump fake. Going right at Jones, and that matchup is fun to watch. Bird defended by January. No look. Talbot for her first bucket. Once she was able to get going, she was confident. However, they have a big stretch ahead of them, Seattle does. Five games on the road, and Sue Bird did not discount. Maybe needing a break during that time. You almost sometimes feel like you're upside down, like the jet lag is so tough and it hits you sporadically. Four o'clock in the afternoon and you're just sleepy. So these women are doing a great job just being out here and being able to be so effective. Connecticut just really not sharp on everything that they want to do right now. Uh, offensively, wanting to get the ball into John Cole Jones, but just unable to do it. Oh, the athleticism by Stewie. The finish by Lloyd. So congratulations to, to them and what they've been able to do in representing our country. Oh, nice finger roll finish off the left side. Kennedy Burke. Step back move from Tiffany Prince. Beats the shot clock. She has the ability to score a lot of points. Over 100, I think, at one point in high school. <laughs> oh, you got that. See how good that is? They are so disappointed that they have not come out with a better performance. But you got to keep fighting, keep working hard, keep contesting shots. And Seattle just keeps making buckets. What can we say? You, depending on, you know, the player of the game and we win, you get to win this envelope. And you had no idea how much money was in there. So here is an opportunity for these players to come out and do the best that they can. But to win money, I would think about the rookies more than anyone else. By winning at $30,000, you're almost doubling their salaries for some of these players, which is it. Each team in the WNBA plays 10 games within their conference. And then out of those 10 games, the best record in the East plays the best record in the West. And a chance at the pot for the cash. And Lisa, in your mind, it's important that women start talking about not only the love of the game, but playing for some money. Seattle 8 and 2 in Commissioner Cup games against other Eastern Conference opponents. Connecticut was 9 and 1 in their 10 games. Final seconds. Seattle can cash in on the first Commissioner's Cup trophy.